Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clayton. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Lockwood MK2. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 25 likes. I'd highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. So before jumping into the attachments, you can see what they are right now. I um, will go ahead and show you guys. So if you want to pause the video, you can. If you want to stick around for kind of what I was going for, I'll let you guys know what that is right now. Mainly, I was going for the highest aim down sight speed or ADS speed class setup that I could get. And this is kind of what I came up with. Over on the optic, I'm using the Forge Tac Delta 4. It is mainly just for a. I'm pretty sure, like, if you take this off, you don't have an optic. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, iron sights. So this is kind of like a sniper scope and I went with negative 1.74 ounces for aim down sight speed and I position all the way over for close. You do lose a little bit of aim down sight speed, but you get it back with putting the optic tuning. Over on the comb, I'm going to be using the Lockwood Merciless for sprint of fire speed and aim down sight speed. And with the tuning, I went with 0.20 ounces for recoil stabilization and negative one or negative 0.14 inches for aim down sight speed. Over on the lever, I'm using the Longhorn lever for rechambering speed. There is no tuning over on that. On the guard, I'm using the Lockwood saddle guard for sprint speed and hip walking speed. I don't, you could go with this one, but you lose sprint speed. And I want to keep uh, my movement as much as I can. But with the tuning, I did go with 0.15 pounds for aim walking steadiness and negative 0.14 inches for sprint to fire speed. Over on the barrel, I'm using the Lockwood Frontiersman for movement speed and aimed on sight speed. You lose bullet velocity and recoil control. We're mainly using these attachments to get up in people's faces and try to get as many kills as possible. I didn't really want to go with a long range build, but for the barrel tuning, I'm going with negative 0.34 pounds for a walking speed and negative 0.31 inches for aimed on sight speed. That was going to do it for this class setup. If you guys end up trying this out and you like it, let me know down in the comments. Or if you have a better class setup for me to use, let me know what that is down in the comments. I ended up dropping 64 kills and an MGB. I hope you guys enjoy that gameplay. And if you do, let me know with a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, we're going to be using the Lockwood MK2 and I uh, have no teammates. Oh, well, there's one. Oh my god. I just played a game with this gun. I don't... This game's amazing. I feel bad for that kid. No, uh, why are you behind me? No assault god 22. Why do I spawn all the way over here? There's a guy behind me. 
Sorry, bud. Still spawning back here. <clears throat> I think this like is like way too fast for me or something because what I was aiming right at his head. Tony Tones, let's go. We're goaded. No, why are you looking right there? I need to get a VTOL. It's gonna be right there. If if I don't look right there, then I get both of those kills. Counter UAV. It's you. Where's the counter? I could have had a collapse. I'm on a 20. If I don't mess this up, or if I don't mess this up, I can get a nuke. Cop this. There's a guy in there.
That's the nuke right there. No. Oh my. That was a guy. Oh my god, I just popped off. I think I'm gonna have to call the nuke in. I'm gonna go ahead and call it him. Might as well. 58 kills with the Lockwood MK2. <laughs> this is like a perfect map for it, low key. Keep coming. 64 kills, GG's.